The next thing I'd like to do is demonstrate the three different ways to orient the patient to the registration process. The first one is trace, the second one is three-point trace, and the third one is using the CAD model of the patient reference frame on the 3D model. So first and foremost, let's do trace. It's my favorite. It's the one that, to me, is the most flexible for what you need. We're already set to that. So the first thing we'll need to do is verify our registration probe. And then just put your probe on the patient's bridge of the nose, hold still till you hear your prompt to move and start tracing the patient's anatomy. Keep in mind, you'll need to capture about 25% of the 3D volume of the model in order to get through what we call minimum trace. When you're finished, you can see the point cloud that we've collected on the 3D model, and you can also see some information here based on how the system thinks it's done with aligning our sort of image world with our real world. Um, here you can see we have a very large two millimeter uh, or yellow zone. Uh, that means the system is predicting that everything within that yellow zone is going to be two millimeters or less in predicted accuracy. Um, we also have this registration accuracy number, which is 1.4. The registration accuracy is a prediction over the entire volume of the CT of what the registration accuracy is. These, these numbers and these guides are there as a, as a tool for you to, to see on how well the system has done with alignment. The way that you are going to verify that is go to your next step, which is verify registration, and you're going to touch some real points on the patient to make sure you agree. Um, it is good to check a few external points. It's also really good to check a few internal points once you get into Navigate. Notice the trace pattern here. The purpose of tracing in this manner is to capture as much volume of the head as you can that's accessible. Um, also notice that we don't have a lot of overlapping points. Overlapping points are going to weight the registration to that area. Um, and you can see there's a nice widespread of the top of the head. These are very important points to capture in your trace to make sure that we get a, a good alignment of the virtual world to the real world. The third method of orientating the patient uh, is called patient reference frame. The patient reference frame basically creates a CAD model on the registration model that would emulate where your position is here on the patient. You need to make sure that those two positions are similar. To do that, we'll select this as our orientation method. And note here the, the uh, location of the patient tracker on our registration model. It's very similar to where I have it on the, on the patient, but this is something you can adjust in case it is not. So you, you can move this around a little bit. Um, I'm going to keep it there. And then what we're going to do is verify our probe and start our trace. Again, note the size of the um, volume that we've captured in our trace. We've gotten a lot of the top of the head, which is very important. Um, and we've got some of the bridge of the nose. What this patient orientation method does is the location of the tracker on your 3D model automatically aligns left, right, up, and down for the system. And it's going to rely on the trace for the rest of the data.